Welcome to the Addiction Recovery Channel. I'm Ed Baker. Today, uh, we're very lucky and pleased to have Sarah George, uh, Chittenden County State's Attorney, as our guest. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you for having me, Ed. Yeah. Sarah has been our State's Attorney in Chittenden County since uh, 2017 and has, um, you know, really been an outspoken advocate uh, for people at risk for drug overdose death. And that will be our topic today. Sarah, just in general, in your own words, can you please describe what you see happening in our beloved uh, Jindin County today? So I think what I've been seeing lately is what I've sort of seen historically, but given COVID has seemed to become worse and worse with time. And that is that as our social service resources have dwindled, our risk of drug use and drug overdose has um, has gotten worse and people are struggling in a way that I haven't personally seen before in our community and that I th again I think is from well c when COVID hit you know a lot of our social services closed um, a lot of individuals were kicked out of their housing or lost their housing due to the housing market you know our voucher program um, had had all of the issues it did. We had encampments getting taken down, mm -hmm. and all of those things have made our our social service issues and our social our social issues in general have gotten worse. What I mean, I know that that part of your role is to respond to overdose death. So. What are you seeing as the trend in our county and in Burlington in particular? What, what, are, what, are the, what is the death toll currently and has it been uh, increasing over the past years? And how do you see it as like moving into the future also? Any predictions? Yeah, so because our office is called for every overdose fatality, I have been keeping track for the last uh, four or five years now. Um, at least for how many people are dying. And what I've seen so far this year is that we're at around 50 of our community members, and that's in Chittenden County, who have died from fatal overdoses. That's about on track with last year, if not a little bit higher, um, but certainly last year was significantly higher than the two or three years prior to that. So we are seeing overall an upward trend. And we're also seeing that the places in which individuals are dying are are more and more sort of brutal and sad in that people are dying in cars and in the parks or in you know public spaces and public restrooms. Um, I think again, going back to how many more people we have without homes in our community means that those deaths are occurring in in really scary places. So so. Approximately 50 deaths to date, and this is the um, getting toward the end of November. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I, I do believe last year that the total for the year was 51 or 52. So right. it looks like we're losing more than one Vermonter per week in Chittenden County. Is that correct? Yes, that would be my estimation. Um, we haven't, you know, haven't had any fatalities in November, so um, certainly there are weeks where we don't, but mm -hmm. overall there are some weeks we have multiple, um, and certain times of the year seem to be a little bit worse, but overall I would say once a week is, is accurate. And in the state, I know last year um, the Centers for Disease Control estimate was a a little above 260 Vermonters lost. The state estimate was a little bit lower. But Chittenden County, I do believe, has the highest number of deaths uh, per year. That may be. I, I really only focus on Chittenden County, mm -hmm. typically, when you mm -hmm. know, because that's my, that's my world. Um, but that would make sense, certainly, given our populace. And we have over a third of the state's population. So I would be quite surprised if we didn't have more than the yeah. rest of the state. You know, let's let's just take a look at this uh, slide that we have here. Um, this is a Burlington Police Department overdose uh, response slide, and as you can see, obviously, 
I mean, it's so clear. The concentration of overdose responses and, and also overdose deaths is in Burlington, downtown uh, Burlington. <clears throat> I think that's a, a very poignant uh, visual. Do you have any comments on that? Yeah, I mean, I think that what, Thank you. what yeah. we see everywhere in the country is that these overdoses tend to happen in, in places that are concentrated with services um, or bus stations or shelters and all of these other things that might bring these individuals to those areas. So um, certainly Burlington is always at a higher risk of having higher numbers. It also, you know, I mean, those blue and purple dots are, are really terrifying to think about how many people are overdosing in our in our downtown center. What do you, um, you know, give, given this, I mean, the, the, the kind of language that I use to describe this is catastrophic. Yeah. And um, what, do you, what do you see as uh, going forward? Do you, do, you, do you see any, given the structure that we have in place to deal with people with severe drug use disorder, people who are overdosing and dying. Um, can you predict the future? Do you see it as improving or staying the same or worsening, given your vantage point and, and you know, your knowledge and your experience? What, what, what are we in store for here? I would say that based on what I see in my office and the individuals that are coming through my office, if we continue to treat this as a criminal issue and a pr police and prosecutor issue mm -hmm. versus a public health issue and we focus more on putting these individuals in jail versus giving them housing and providing them with housing and employment and services, this is only going to get worse. Um, it, but if we really take the time to spend those same resources or you know, the, the settlement money and other things that the state has access to, to actually giving these individuals um, support. And that's not just through drug treatment, but a lot of these individuals are, are suffering from really significant trauma. Um, they need mental health services as well. They need child care as much as, you know, a, a lot of us are dealing with. And they need, again, safe and secure and affordable housing. Um, and employment, if we don't focus on those particular things and spend the resources there, um, it's only going to get worse. And, and I would also say that as long as, again, we see this behavior as criminal, um, we're going to be responding to this issue instead of doing anything to prevent or help. Hmm. Well, thank you. Thank you for your perspective. Uh, Sarah will be joining us um, uh, as a member of a panel uh, at the end of this show, a panel that will be focused on, on solutions. Um, for now, Sarah, is there anything that you would like to personally say directly to people out there in Chittenden County who are at high risk uh, for drug overdose and drug overdose death? Yeah, I mean, I, I really just want those individuals to know that I care about them, that I want them to survive, um, that we can't help them if they are no longer with us, and that I don't want to be responding to the scene of, of their death. Um, and if they are feeling like they are ready to not be in this situation anymore and want help, and then I would suggest that they go to Vermonters for Criminal Justice Reform and talk to those folks or go to the hospital or go to the methadone clinic. Um, go to anybody that they think will help them and start that conversation and we will do what we can to help them get into some type of, of treatment. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate the work you've done and I, I look forward to supporting the work that, that you will do in the future, Sarah. Thank you, Ed. I really appreciate that. Okay.